Um, to us, what we have to be careful of is um, trying to adhere and, and respect the local laws, the local customs of the countries, as well as practice, um, you know, as well as make sure that we establish a, um, a site that's safe for all users to, to go and watch. So we do take down pieces of content, you know, in the U.S. that's not not against uh, you know, any copyright laws. It's not against. Um, it doesn't have sort of you know, adult content. We take it down because we just don't think it, it parallels the uh, the type of content or the type of community that we want on you. The uh, the the name. I mean, so the name was come up uh, with Chad. Um, we were sitting in his garage, and uh, that day we both came up with. He used to be the designer of PayPal, so he drew the logo too um, of, of YouTube. The uh, the tube with the, the television and then the, the U in front of it, and then um, the name really stems from sort of play on, on the the other word for TV, tube in, in the U.S. Um, so tube is another word for television, and U is um, combining both the user generated part with television. Some people think it's really hard to make money from uh, internet sharing, uh, just as the case of the YouTube and the Flickr. And uh, what do you think of that? And the Another question is that what if this there was no plan uh, of if, if, uh, as if not, there was no company that wants to buy YouTube and uh, but it was a special company and what uh, do you have any plan to and uh, what was your plan to make money from it?
thing that um, I remember is a few weeks ago I had coffee with the, uh, the chancellor from the University of Illinois where I went to school when I went to college. And um, he was, he was sort of lamenting the fact that all these great companies are started by uh, students that went to U of I. Um, you know, you have Netscape, you have um, you know, all these companies, but they always start it um, after they get off the plane um, in, in the Bay Area. They don't start it when they're still in school. And he was asking about why, why this was the case. Why aren't more um, companies started around, around the school, around it's the same people? And um, I think the response there is that there's a, there's a whole environment, there's a lot more, uh, I think, underlying things that need to be need to be present for these ideas to start, for these companies to start. And one particularly interesting thing about the um, about Silicon Valley is that just there's so many people that all the right ingredients that you need to create a company that is all there. You know, um, both the engineers are there, the um, uh, people with entrepreneurial spirit are there, people that have done this in the past, that have experienced starting companies, that have experienced um, leading large engineering teams. And, and I think that it's, um, it's, it's mystifying, but not many places in the world, not, not just you know, even inside the US, there aren't many places where companies are started. And I think it's, it's, it's difficult to have all these elements all combined within a, a small geographical area. And I think, and so again, I think that's, that's also the reason why it's not just you know, the people or the, uh, you know, it's not just the people. I think it's having everything all click at once there. Um, videos and it doesn't have to be 